Exelon is one of the nation's largest electric utilities. I recently sat down with CEO John Rowe to discuss natural gas as an energy source. Talk a little bit about the company's plans for natural gas. Well, the company is, as I said, largely a nuclear company. We have a small investment in wind. We have a small investment in several natural gas burning facilities. We believe natural gas is queen on the margin for a long time. That said, because of low load growth in our regions, there's not much need for new capacity out until uh, the second half of the next decade. So going slow is our first mantra. But within that, it will be gas that will be built as some of the old power plants go, and we would love to be among the people who build some new gas-fired capacity. Uh, are you concerned at all about any supply constraints with natural gas? There are some fears well, we, that... We, we used to be. But right now, as a company that would prefer higher gas prices, because um, it's better for our nuclear fleet, uh, you know, we believe that gas is going to be relatively cheap for at least a decade, maybe two, largely due to shale gas, things like that. So we believe there's room to make a big bet. We have a program we call Exelon 2020, which is our low carbon plan. It's a plan to neutralize our carbon footprint by 2020. Uh, part of them, what makes it important is the goal. We're already halfway there. Part of what makes it important is it assesses the cost of different options in terms of dollars per ton of avoided CO2. Energy efficiency is close to zero, plus or minus $20. New gas-fired capacity is probably plus $20. Uh, uprates in our nuclear power plants are around plus or minus $20. Uh, but wind, solar, nuclear, coal with carbon sequestration are all up around $100. And that's because of cheap gas and low load growth. What that tells you is the market is in no hurry to see more power plants built. There's a lot of concern with water contamination about the gas extracted from these shales. You don't think that will play out in the form of tighter supply? I think it will have an effect on the economics of shale production. I'm quite certain there will be regulation because of that concern. I think some regulatory structure is legitimate. I would be sitting here smiling like a chipmunk if I really thought it would have a massive effect on the gas market because it would make my nuclear plants even more valuable than they are. But I really think shale gas is good for consumers and with some reasonable regulations will have a major impact on the long-run gas supply.